Good evening. Across the mid-state, public and private schools are still wrestling with if and when to bring students and teachers back into the classroom. But a little notice guidance from health officials appears to complicate arguments for those who say it's time to reopen. News Channel 5's chief investigative reporter Phil Williams spent the weekend reading the fine print. Phil. For some, it seemed to be a settled question last week when the Centers for Disease Control announced that students need to be back in the classroom despite the COVID-19 pandemic. But we discovered the CDC published another document the very same day that tells a very different story. Tonight, infections surge in the South and West as the CDC strongly recommends that kids return to school this fall. It was an announcement that made national headlines as the CDC issued a strong statement on the importance of reopening America's schools. But this document on preparing K-12 school administrators advises it is important to consider community transmission risk as schools reopen. The CDC goes on to say computer simulations from Europe have suggested that school reopenings may further increased transmission risk in communities where transmission is already high. Currently with the uh, number of new cases that we're seeing in our uh, our state, um, we really should be concerned about reopening our schools. Dr. Amy Gordon Bono is an internal medicine specialist with a master's in public health. She says with almost the entire state, the counties in orange, showing unacceptable rates of transmission, schools ought to think twice about reopening. School administrators should look to that community transmission to guide their decision making. So what if schools say, you know, we have mitigation plans in place, you know, we think we can do this? I would say that the uh, current levels of community transmission in our state do not support reopening classrooms to in-person education. Many parts of the country are currently experiencing uncontrolled spread of COVID-19. Friday during a hearing before Congress, even the American Academy of Pediatrics backed away from suggestions that students should go back to school even where COVID-19 is still spreading. While the AAP urges those areas to maintain in-person learning as the goal, we recognize that many jurisdictions will need to utilize distance learning strategies until cases decline. Numbers are not on our side to reopen schools, and we now are gaining practical experience that indicates we should strongly reconsider reopening our schools to in-person education at this moment. Bono noted that an East Tennessee district that attempted a gradual reopening has already had one confirmed case. All of the evidence seems to indicate there's not a huge risk to children themselves. What, what is your major concern? Whenever we are considering our schools, uh, we're not just considering the, the, the students, we're considering our teachers and the custodians, the, the administrators. You know, there's, there's a, a lot of people at school that are not just children that are at high risk. The CDC document also recommends that students should be kept together in small groups all day if possible, and they should certainly avoid having everyone in the hallways at the same time. And if one student comes up with COVID-19, every person who is in the classroom with that student should be tested and or quarantined to minimize the spread. Bill Williams, News Channel 5 Investigates. Dr. Bono says she recommends that schools should follow international recommendations and not reopen until the percentage of tests coming back positive is 5% or below. The statewide average has been hovering around 10%.